My name is Owen Ratliff, uh, creator of the Black, and executive producer of the Black Salt Film Project. And action! Black Salt is a take of a 007, but finally having an African American in the lead role of being that cool superhero. Yeah! You know what, the thing that impressed me most about this project, I think, is Owen. Um, one of the things that he brought to the table um, before I even, uh, you know, auditioned, you know, was his marketing savvy, um, his storyline. I mean, the fact that the brother wrote a character that looked just like me, I love that. <laughs> his vision, you know, is very clear, and I can see his energy, and that's, that's what brought me into this. The message was uh, to treat a man by his good deeds and not by the origin of his skin. That was kind of the message that I created in Black Soul. The concept is hot. It's, uh, I mean, not to put it on a, on like a racial level or anything, it's like you don't get to make movies with black heroes like this. Whoa. Whoa. So, uh, it really moved me. How it's put together. It's put together very well. So I can't wait to start editing it. We are all really happy that he's put this all together for all of us to come together as martial artists, as talented actors, artists, minorities, um, uh, women. You know, it's fantastic. His ability to tell a story and present it in a way that gets you excited. Uh, his promotion abilities is just amazing. He's just a uh, He's also one of those guys that you'll, you'll, you only meet once in a lifetime. He's just an amazing person. Look, I've had about enough of this therapy session. Now, are you going to give me answers? What? Eight years ago, uh, I got tired of looking at every time there was an African-American male, he was always a gangster or he was a dope dealer. So I wanted to create a hero. And uh, I was always mystified by Shaolin. So if I did, I put both of them together. And that's kind of how I came up with Black Soul. And action! <laughs> I'm, the, I'm the director, so I'm the, I'm the uh, circus master. Uh, it runs this show that you hear going on up there. Action! Uh, I love Blood and Bones. That was one of my favorites. So uh, a friend of mine introduced me to Ben and we talked and we both had the same vision. So that's why I chose Ben. He's a director that knows what he wants. He already knows what he wants in his head and he's laser beam ready to focus and get to it. So there's not a lot of time wasted. And then I would like Inchin to get back in the directing chair. Sure, yeah. I'd be in the directing chair. Let's sure, you know, check out the script, you know, see what it's about. And so it's called Black Salt. I was like, oh, Black Salt. I remember that from like years ago. So as soon as I heard that, I was like, oh man, I'm down, definitely. You don't even have to send me a script. I'm down. Black Salt is a critically acclaimed comic book series. Six issues. That's what I started Black Salt off as a comic book. Black Salt is a story of uh, Samuel Lincoln Park, who is a, a uh, Interpol agent. His childhood, he went to China, and his mother got killed like the first week he was there. And all of a sudden you have a young boy in a foreign land, and uh, a Shaolin monk took him in and trained him in Kung Fu. I would really uh, enjoy the Shaolin Temple series because it depicts uh, the true nature of Kung Fu, uh, which is a mentor of I just got to meet Sal Redner, who is yes, a Shaolin master. He has his own studio uh, in Gardena. And a uh, pleasure to meet him and learn more of the intricacies of the costume, how to put on, how the elastic leg wraps work, and um, just a fascinating to see all the different layers that go into those costumes. The battle with Monk Singh is basically kind of like a standoff. 
Monk Singh is kind of like the, he's the, like the guardian uh, of the Shaolin Temple, and he's um, a guarding uh, Abbot Zhao. You know, and Abbot Zhao is um, kind of like becomes a black folks' new mentor. Are you here to complete your training? I really like Abbot James Wu. He was a great, great actor and a great person. And uh, our story picks up uh, several years after he's become this, you know, international spy agent, and uh, he's on the trail of a ancient weapon. Uh, the, the journey of Sam is one of, I think, self awareness. Uh, he goes from uh, feeling a little bit too self assured, a little bit egotistical. He has a little uh, a, a chip on his shoulder. You were all gang. You know. In this film, he's my arch nemesis. We're, we're arch nemesis. So the fight between us is very, you know, it's, it's like his biggest fight. Rain is a uh, is a martial artist, you know, almost equal caliber of uh, of Sam. Rain is using a variety of, of skills. You know, it's a combination of of silat with some krav maga and, and just some, you know close quarter fighting. It's a mixture of, of techniques and JKD stuff. And some, uh, He's like the opposite. You know, he's 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 he's, he's, he's quick. He's agile. You know, he's countering my moves well. He has he has the strength that I have. And he seems to know what I'm doing. Um, he's study. He's, he's well studied. He's a tier one badass. You know, martial arts guy. But he's a cold-hearted killer, um, psychopath. He's got no problem killing people, children, whatever. Um, and fighting. Agent Thorpe to him is, is, it's kids play. By him being a biracial, living in Japan, he was always picked on by kids. So he became real angry, and he became a Yakuza. And he trained, and he was highly skilled in martial arts. What good is that when someone's blasting at you with a 45? You know what, that, that, that's a big question right there. <laughs> Was, was a lot of fun. There was a lot of crazy stuff going on. Um, so I think I think that was a lot of fun. We had a, a lot of stunt guys on set, uh, being shot, thrown around, all sorts of cool stuff. Uh, when they were doing the night scenes with all the uh, fog and seeing just the, uh, the shooting, the acrobats, and that was so fun. Black Salt is uh, taking on the whole cruise track. Well, the fighting scenes were fantastic I mean, because we got like really A-class uh, uh, coordinators, choreographers, fighters, these guys, they were all Oh yes, we combined it, um, a lot of different fighting styles, um, but we wanted to stick, you know, to the story, you know, which a lot of and Shaolin, you know, style. We wanted to not drift away too much from that, but we added in a lot of other little things here and there to really spice it up. Got him looking good. He's, you know, definitely not the same Tenyumba that we knew before the movie. <laughs> the most uh, complex and intriguing scene was uh, the one that was shot with Michelle Lee and Tenyumba on the rooftop. It featured a, a traditional kung fu weapon known as the Jin, with a straight sword, um, against an unarmed Tenyumba who uh, is trained in the art of iron body or iron shirt. 
in which he's capable of resisting uh, penetration from sharp swords or other types of metallic weapons. So it's a very unique uh, fighting scene because it incorporates choreography that depicts the iron body techniques of Shaolin Kung Fu. It's based in Chinese Kung Fu. It's uh, Shaolin Kung Fu. It's very stylized. Um, weapons. There's a lot of um, actual application techniques. You get to see uh, fighting and elegance combined in a very uh, savvy but deadly way. Man, I, I didn't know that these glasses would work. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, those glasses are the shit. Horse Ripper was found by the Shaolin Temple. As a, as, a, as a baby on the doorstep. And she was trained to be a Shaolin monk. And Master Kali, which is the villain, he took her away and she is loyal to Master Kali. And she's one of his bodyguards. She does a lot of bidding for him. Uh, Horse Ripper is very exciting. She's like sexy and dangerous and badass scary at the same time. Everything that you want in a girlfriend. <laughs> Alright guys, move it up. My costume is amazing, isn't it? Amazing, look at it. It's put together by Musa. I think her character is just, it's, it's very kind of sleek. She's like no nonsense. Um, she's very direct and she is just very talented fighter, you know, so I just thought, you know, something very sleek. It's just a combination of tactical gear, actual elbow pads, knee pads that are actually useful in combat, a bunch of uh, um, gun holsters, I think I have three or four gun holsters, flash bombs, I've, I'm ready, I'm ready to go. I'm like a single unit of war. <laughs> Shoot, with all that noise up there, the action is definitely going to be bomb. You know, can you hear it? <laughs> action! Yeah. Through the winter, summer, spring, fall, black song, black song, black song, black song, universal, cosmos, the black ninja, black song, black song, black song, black song, through the winter, summer, spring, the black ninja mixed with a Bruce Lee kid who's the master. Remix so on some Leroy shit. All black out the hideout. Bow tie game and the sun gon' shine on you fakes and lanes. I go hard in the paint with the blade. Like a dice game, I'ma catch you with the fade. I'm critical. Oh, wait, 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 before y'all, before we leave, I just want to tell you, y'all, pay attention. Black Salt is going to be one of the hottest martial arts superhero movies. I guarantee you this. The short film is going to get so much traction, it's going to be ridiculous.